What's up, everyone? Yes, we ride at dawn. Saturday morning edition. Coming to you live from Bay Park in East Rockaway, Long Island, New York. A little bit later today. A little bit later. There's Kevin Brady. I haven't seen him in a while. All right, all right. So, uh, yeah, we're a little bit later today. Um, flew in late last night from Texas. And uh, we're back in the hood. Uh, it's nice to be home. Definitely uh, fun to get away, though, and uh, experience some new stuff. Get out of our comfort zones. Live life a little bit. Uh, as you guys know, uh, I joined this group down in Texas called Apex, and it's an entrepreneur uh, training and networking group. Uh, it's amazing people. Um, I just realized that I've been there four times in about four months, and uh, I'm going back again in about another month and a half. Um, the, uh, the people that I'm meeting along this journey are just in completely, completely incredible. <clears throat> um, so... Got a little bit of a late start this morning because the uh, force of average was like a magnet to the bed this morning. But um, it got Benny. Benny said he was riding, but Benny's still sleeping. I don't know, force of average, force of average. I texted him. Uh, it was a late night. It's been a long couple days. I got to admit, I got to admit, we uh, flew in. Whew. We did our ride here Wednesday morning. We flew in, got to uh, the hotel. Uh, we went shopping for boots. I got all cowboyed out because, you know, when in Texas, you got to do as Texans do. We had the hat and the uh, shirt and the boots and all that stuff. So we had some fun with that. Um, went out to dinner Wednesday night. Uh, hung out with a bunch of people. Talked a lot of uh, life and business and whatnot. Uh, Thursday morning, 6 a.m. in Texas. Actually, 5.30. I got up 6 a.m. We had a workout with, I don't know, 30, 40 people with a fitness ninja. Um on top of a parking garage, a little CrossFit. Um, basically, Fitness Ninja gets pleasure out of beating the crap out of people. Uh, we love him for it. Uh, Mark Zalinoff, um, make good choices guy. He's got a book. So every time we go to Texas to one of these journeys, us crazy people, uh, not normal, get out of bed and enjoy uh, a serious workout. I'm literally having trouble moving from Thursday still, so it just tells you what kind of workout it is. Then. Uh, because we got a ride at dawn, I got on a bike and we rode and we did our 10 miles in the bike in the hotel. And then from there, it was time for the fire. We did our uh, Apex Live event. Um, we had a bunch of great speakers that got up and, and basically just, just laid it out, laid out life, laid out business. Um, F your excuses. I mean, just the, the, the knowledge that was there is completely incredible. And in and around that all day long was a bunch of networking um, with some some amazing people. Um, just the ideas that are shared, it's just uh, um, really incredible, really incredible. People doing amazing things. Um, <clears throat> something we talked about in this group, everyone's got their hand out, but not to take from you, to pull you along on a journey. It's really, really wild. Like, you know, most places you go, you know, they're trying to sell you stuff. They're trying to, uh, you know, take from you. They're trying to, you know, basically get something out of you and in this place yeah they are trying to get something out of you they're trying to get the best you out of you um, <clears throat> everyone there is reaching out putting their hand down saying come on come with me let's go let's do this together so it's uh, pretty cool so um starting to align with some people um uh came across my buddy samuel smith and he is the small business surgeon podcast but um this guy's like a brother from another mother. The more we talk, the more we realize how similar our lives are, the struggles we've had, the successes we've had, and um, spent a lot of time together again <clears throat> this week. And yesterday, I went on his podcast. Um, we talked a lot about life and realized even more how similar our lives are and where we came from and where we're going and what our our journey is looking like. So uh, this morning, I said, you know, let me let me go see what Sam's about more. I've listened to it before, and I turned on his Friday fire uh podcast and um i'm going to share it later everyone needs to listen to it 
uh, some some serious points. So it was about, uh, he just turned 41 uh, two days ago, and it was basically about what he's learned along the way. And he hits a couple amazing points. So um, one of the points, uh, his point number seven, is uh, um, basically um, have patience, forgive, and um, help people along the way. And um, that was similar to the Bible verse that opened up this morning from Romans. Um, that God gives us patience and, um, and encouragement to help people along the way. Um, and it's pretty, pretty funny that that pops up this morning as I'm coming out of this event that, um, that we, uh, the message is about encouraging people and helping them along the way and to have patience with people and to, uh, you know, do what you can to help others. And that was uh, Sam's point number seven in his podcast. But in his podcast, he talked about a couple things. Um, basically, are you living a life that aligns with your your goals, your morals? Um, what what how are you living your life that that basically represents who you want to be? Um, talks about a lot of things. He talks about um, uh, health. Have you ever seen an old fat person? Doesn't happen. Um, have you ever seen an old uh, alcoholic? doesn't happen um we need to get our health in shape we need to uh not drown our sorrows in food and alcohol and drugs and whatever else um he talks about drinking sam uh was an alcoholic uh lost a lot in the process and he's not afraid to share it uh he talks about getting help um whether it's for alcohol addiction or just in life um your business, uh, with your relationships, um, let people, you know, don't hide your struggles, ask for help, uh, you know, a lot of us have stuff going on, and we always put on a smile, and we don't ask for help, and really successful people want to help, <laughs> people that are successful, people that do the right thing, um, want to help, they want to help you, so reach out, put your hand out, reach out, because um, <clears throat> literally, they want to help you, I want to help you. You're struggling. I want to help you. Um, it makes me happy to know that you're not struggling. So um, if you are struggling with anything, reach for help. I'm here. There's tons of people here that are willing to help. Um, so that was a great message. Um, be grateful. Be grateful. Every morning, get up and be thankful. Thankful that you still have another day. Thankful for the roof over your head. Thankful. Thank you. Be thankful for your family. Be thankful you have some money in your pocket. Um, because if you really think about it, there's a lot of people that would be thankful for what you have that you're not appreciating. And how could you get more out of life if you don't appreciate what you already have? Um, that was uh, that was pretty uh, pretty basic, but um, but it really makes sense. It really makes sense. Um, he spoke about a bunch of other things. I'm going to share the podcast, but um, those are some things that stuck out to me. And uh, the fact that uh, his point number seven kind of aligned with the uh, the Bible quote today, because uh, my friend Donna says, you "Gotta ground yourself in the Bible." So we we'll keep Donna happy. We grounded in the Bible today. Um, so now we're back to win our ride. Ride at dawn. We're gonna do ten miles today. And yes, Tony with Marine Mosquito Land. It's not bad. We got a breeze. So uh, we did our journey today. We're gonna do our ten miles. I was gonna do twenty this morning. Um, I know FYE, I don't know, we'll get, we'll get what I can in. I got to get to Joey's baseball game, so I don't really have much time today to put a big ride in. Uh, then we're going to end up out in the Hamptons tomorrow morning. I'll be riding out there for all my followers. Um, I'm happy to see you right here at home, but I will be out in Hampton Bays riding tomorrow morning. And we will spend this afternoon and out there with the kids. And it's a little birthday party for my niece and nephew. And um, that's it, a little family time after the trip to Texas. So happy to be back. Happy to see everyone back here live again. Shout out to all my Apex family in Texas. Um, amazing event, amazing people. I love you all. And uh, <clears throat> let's keep this journey going. Uh, shout out to my buddy Sam Smith on his podcast yesterday. Um, amazing dude, amazing dude. Um, we're definitely uh, aligned and we're definitely going to be working together in the future. Um, we just, we just get each other and um we're on the same mission so shout out sam love you man and uh that's it so we're out here oh try not to uh let these allergies get me from these trees but um yeah we're out here on this journey together and um 
you know, let's do this. All right, so let's say our prayers. Father Eugene, who was back this week, hopefully he'll be riding with us again on Tuesday. We can't disappoint, so uh, let's jump in here. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please uh, guide everybody on this journey. Please allow them to ask for help when they're struggling. Um, no one should struggle alone. Um, everybody out there in this world wants to help you, so reach for it. Um, don't, God, please don't let people hold, hold uh, grudges. Please don't let people um, hold strife in their life. Let everyone release it and enjoy the ride and be grateful and um, help each other along the way and have patience with each other. Um, amen. So, all right, so we got to get on with the day. We're burning daylight. It's a beautiful day down here on the water. We'll give you one last look. There we go. This guy's got his boat out over here. The sun is shining. We're still riding my daughter's bike. I got to pick my bike up today. It's all fixed up. Limbrick Bicycle took care of me. And uh, this is it. This is it for those of you trying to figure out where I am. We're on Long Island, which if you look at New York, there's a little fish swimming out of the bottom of New York. That's Long Island. We're close to the city. About 20 miles in that direction is New York City. When it's not hazy, you can see the buildings. Today, you really can't. But um, those buildings off in the distance there is Rockaway Inlet. So like Statue of Liberty would be kind of like back in that direction that way. And then Manhattan's like right in here. And uh, the airport's there. I don't know if you can see the plane taking off. So that over there is Kennedy Airport. And the planes are taking off out of there. So, and then the ocean is out there past the barrier island. So those of you in Texas and out in the world, my friends, uh, my network is growing across the country. Um, so this message is getting out there a little bit further. So now you know where I am. We're hanging out in about the mouth of the fish, if you look at the map. So, all right, everyone, uh, make it a good day. Be grateful. Help people in your life. Reach out for help if you need it. And I'm going to share a podcast uh, under here. Listen to it. Um, hit some really, really good points. Uh, definitely a way to live your life. Yes, this crew does curse a little bit. Um, don't hold it against them. The message is great. Kevin Brady, enjoy your day. Always great to see you. Dawn. You rock. Dawn's doing an open house tomorrow, 61 Lawrence Avenue from 11 to 12.30. Three bedrooms, two bath, 549. This house is uh, available again. We had contracts out. The people are having issues in their life and backed out. It's available. Come get it. Let's get this thing sold. Let's get you a house. Um, who else we got in a chase? Good morning, bro. It's so great to see you this week. And who else? Mom's on here. Hey, Mom. Joni. Yes, Mosquito Squad. Um, all right, everyone. So enjoy your day. Happy Saturday. Go make something of yourself. Live the life you want to live. Don't just exist. God bless.